And here we go. Pretty good crowd out here, too, considering that uh, there's no students here. No right. So. But this is the best day to play football. Here it is. Your Thanksgiving weekend game is underway with Burgess at the 12-yard line. Scoots left 20 to the 23-yard line. And that's where Cortland will get the football field. And Boyce with the play fake. Throws to the left side. It is complete and out of bounds. Boys on second down. Flush from the pocket. He's going to go himself. 35. Angling toward the sideline to the 40. He may have gotten the first down. He's out to the near side. Quick drop for Boyce. He's Looking going deep, deep downfield. It's J.J. Lapp intended. And he is unable to get it. And it's intercepted by Grove City at about the 10-yard line. Pfeiffer will go with a wing back to his right. Three-step drop on third and nine, throws near side. It's complete. That's Frazier. Very athletic. On third and six, Pfeiffer. A dump underneath. It is caught, but well short of the first down. Twins each way. Uh, excuse me, uh, boys with the toss and the catch at the 36. It's lap 50 and down at about the 43 of Grove City. He found a hole and just went for a race for about 10 yards after the catch. Yeah, he had a little bit of a bubble screen there, Bob, coming in from the boundary side. Those numbers later in the broadcast. It's first and 10 on the Grove City 42. And a play fake. Tossed to the 39-yard line. It's Burgess this time. Dragged. <laughs> he pulls his defender. Capone will flank boys to the right side. Kind of a tough snap. Boyce is flushed out of the pocket. Throws. Lap with the catch at the 28. Steps to the 20. Sidesteps a defender. Causes another miss before he's taken down at about the Grove City 18. Now what you saw from Lap there. Lap's a senior. And what he did is it's called comeback to the quarterback. When you see the quarterback under distress. Uh First red zone chance for Cortland in the game. There's a man in motion. Boys sees open field, takes it himself to the 10, and he'll step out. Did he make it? Did he stay in bounds? Oh, it looks like he stepped out. At about the three. Boys, they stepped. On first down, Capone with the handoff. He's going nowhere. In fact, he's lost at least two. Lap lined up behind Burgess on the right side. Boys with the snap. Has nobody to throw to. He's gonna now he'll release it to the back corner of the end zone and it's a touchdown. JJ Lap. JJ Lap. No points. Yeah, from a defensive standpoint, it's easier down here because you have less area to cover, but none more Pfeiffer. He'll do a he'll run a play fake and throw and out of bounds with the catch at the 15 is Daniel Sullivan at the uh, 49 rather is Daniel Sullivan. Right side of the line. Pfeiffer. Throwing left side, intercepted by Cortland at the 38-yard line, I believe. It's Mark Noel, but they got to get him out of the crowd to see. Yeah, it was, it was Mark Noel. Very good play. That ball was... Intercepted by Mark Noel, number seven. Twins each way. Boyce in deep trouble, and he gets taken down at the 35-yard line. St. John off to the right side. Boys with a quick drop, throwing over the middle, lap the catch at the 45, and he's taken down at the Grove City 42-yard line. Boys with the snap, hands to Jaden Alfano St. John, he'll look for the edge to the 35, and he's run out of bounds. And Andrew Tarpey on the right side, and that's the direction Boys will go. It's caught at the 19, Burgess steps out right about there. That'll be television screen. And Boyce will take it out of the design draw. Up the middle. 10, 5, touchdown! That's the dimension that Boyce has added throughout the season. He was never touched. No. They hand off. And up the middle with plenty of room to the 30 and out to the 33-yard line. Trips to the left side. Pfeiffer, two steps on the drop. Throwing near side. One-on-one -on -one coverage. And it is... Caught. That, that is Frazier. It writes on second down. It's Flatty. 25 20 inside the red zone at about the 18 yard line. That's where he'll be taken down. On second and seven. Over the middle. Pass is caught. Grove City is on the board with a touchdown. That was an actual uh, great red read. Touchdown reception by Ryan Heckethorn, number 88. So Heckethorn. 
The boys throwing over the middle. That's caught by uh, by JJ Lab. And he's Another 15 yard pickup and boys to lap again. That's close to the marker at the 44 yard line. Can you? No, that's eight. That's Ike. First down. Boys himself to midfield. Misses as a tackle. What I'm trying to tell you is the tackle was missed and he's out at the 40 yard line. Boys. Three step drop. And then another step and another. Throws left side. Caught. At the 25 and out of bounds is the tight end, Omari Kendrick. Double twins each way. And now a flag I, yeah, I think it, from the near side. Yeah, yeah see, what, remember I mentioned earlier in the game. Boys with the snap. He's going to tuck it in. He's going to try to go, but he's not getting oh, he's anywhere. Not he's, he's driven back. for 32-yard field goal attempt. From the blocked, left hash, blocked. and it's blocked. That's big. That's big. Wow. You heard it. Kobe Bonanno. Bonanno. Single receivers on the spread. A bad snap. It's picked up, though, and run out to the 25. I believe that's Parrish who actually picked up the ball and gets tripped up at the 27-yard line. They had a handoff. Met at the 32, but then driving the pile for several more. Look to see who it is. A single receiver to the right side, and Pfeiffer will go himself. 45, 50. Finally met at midfield just inside Red Dragons territory. Pfeiffer. Quick drop, stepping up, throwing over the right side. He's got a man, and it is it. Did he get it? Yes, he yes, did. Yes, he did at these five yards at the ten-yard line. Got a flag. Now, as Gene Lubin stopped the receiver, that's Sullivan, but as my partner said, a flag in the backfield. Corlin Ball. Still no information. Swing pass caught at the 10 and out at about the 14 yard line and punted away at about midfield. Catch is made, tackle missed, 40 and down at the 38 yard line. 28 seconds in the half, they still have their two timeouts. Pfeiffer goes back to throw, sets his feet, throwing over the middle. It's caught at about the six yard line and diving forward. For another yard is Hackathorn. Yard line, first and goal with 11 seconds left in the half. Here's Pfeiffer throwing over the middle. Wide open, but an incomplete on the pass, or was it? He got it. Touchdown. I was just, it was wide open. Yeah, that, that was definite. Time. Play action. Pfeiffer throwing incomplete. Nice breakup by the Red Dragons. Six man front at the line. Pfeiffer going to that left side. It is caught at about the 44 yard line. And it'll be a first down for the Wolverines. That was not a real well. Everything that we see up here, different perspective. On third down, over the middle, Pfeiffer with the completion at the 45 yard line and down to about the 41 is Hackathorn. First side on third and five. Cortland needs a stop, and here goes the option. And away goes the quarterback, Pfeiffer, inside the 20 to the 17 yard line. As a deep C. Handoff. This is Flatty. And another miss to the 10 from the 10. Third and two. Diving ahead, I think, is Parrish. Was there enough? He's fourth and one. Flag. And a flag flies on the plays. I was catching the fourth down numbers. That's what it was. Neutral zone infraction. See, that's what people are finding. Here, Cortland. On third down, there's the option, and he's going to be stopped. The quarterback, Pfeiffer, at the two-yard line. From the left hash, Keekley's kick stays inside the right post, and it is good. Twins to the left. Here's Boyce, flushed from the pocket. He'll throw it left side, caught across midfield, complete. Alfano St. John flanks Boyce to the left. 
Quick drop. He's throwing deep down the left side. Lap in the open field. Caught it! Touchdown, Red Dragons! J.J. Lap, his second of the day, his 31st of the job, and he had to kick. Oh, no. Wow. Didn't see the flag. There's a man shifting in motion to the near side to make it twins each direction. Boys back to throw. This time he'll try the right side. Burgess with the catch at the 20, and he's out of bounds. No! Wait a minute. He, what caught, he caught it. Yes, at the 15-yard line. They're going to say the 17 is where he stepped down. Well, they did run it again, but this time they tried their other big man in Cole Burgess. See, that's why you're up here. Three receivers, trips to the right side. Boyce in trouble. He's going to try to dive forward and save it, and I think he got back to the line, but not a lot more. Receiver who would be the tight end, Mazone, dumps it across. Burgess the catch, 20, 15, spinning. And he's taken down to tie this game. Mooney puts it down, kick is up, angling toward the right post, but it stays inside it. And Mike Maloga with a 27-yard field. Hand off. Up the middle goes the tailback. I believe that was Flatty. May have... Play action. Left side throw. It is! Caught or picked off? No, caught. 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 Frazier makes the catch. Wow. With him, stride for stride was... Keep that holding call that happened and negated a touchdown in mind as Pfeiffer throws left side. Incompletes. Low snap. Pfeiffer throwing over the middle. It's caught, but short of the first down and about the 29. Trips to the left. They're running a play. Pepper. uh, Pfeiffer Pfeiffer and a catch made to Heckethorn at the 22-yard line of Cortland. And and, uh, Grove City converts the fourth down. And off Flatty. Bounces off a tackle. Stutter steps. And he's got the first down to the Portland six-yard line. Spread out is Frazier, the receiver on the left side. A bobbled snap, and then Pfeiffer throws, and he'll throw it out of the back of the end zone. That snap went a muck and a rye. There's no flag for intentional grounding. Quarterback was out of pocket. Wow, Cortland fans are... Pfeiffer to the right side. It is... Flag. Is it, it was caught, but it was, there's a flag on the play anyway. Let's see. It looks like defensive pass interference. Holden, defense number seven. The penalty is declined. The third, touchdown. Is it Zach Boyce is a quarterback? He'll throw it to the right side. Complete at the 44 and dragged out of bounds. Boyce sets his feet. Now he's going to be flushed. He's going to have to run. He'll unload it. That's dangerous. Did he get picked off? Yes, Yes, it did. Wow. That was Trevor Trevor Beck. Beck. That's so classic. At their own 44. Handoff. Flatty. Oh, the ball came loose. Does Cortland have it in their own side of the field? Yes, they do. And a guy that it isn't even listed on our two deep has made an impact. If that's the case, Eli Alvarez. Which way? The tight end on the left side. Boys, left side ball tipped. And incomplete and lucky he wasn't picked a third time. This is fourth and potentially season. Boys with a snap, quick drop. Steps back again, flushed. He's run through his checkdowns. He's out of it. 50, cutting back inside. He got the first down at about the 45. And he got himself out of trouble by using the legs. Alfano St. John in the backfield. On first down, Boy sets his feet, throwing left side, and it's dropped. Incomplete. Oh, you got to get that one. Probably means Burgess and Tarpey are to the, actually there to the near side. And now Boyce is in deep trouble, and he's taken down at his own 48-yard line. You give Grove City the ball back, you have to rely on a strip or something very strange happening. And Boyce is in a whole heap right here. On 4th and 15, throwing over the middle. It. It's caught at the 30-yard line. And a first down. Yeah, who's Who was that? 
Number the Burgess. Burgess trips to the right side. Boy stepping up, throwing over the middle. It's caught. At the 10 and tackled at the 8-yard line is Andrew Turpy. First and goal from the 8-yard line. You can't settle. Clock under three minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Boyce looking, setting his feet. He'll dump on a bubble screen. It's Alfano St. John to the 5, out at the 2. Here's a man in motion. They hand to Alfano St. John and he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Red Dragons! Wow, what a play. Three in a row if he if he hits it, but they're going for two. They're going for the win. Boyce throwing. Where is it? It's caught. He's in. Oh, he dropped it? Ah, uh, did he? What? Oh, don't tell me we're going to have a counter. Now Cortland has to survive for 83 seconds. Luby. It'll be caught at the 6. And moving up to the 30. And then down at the 35-yard line. I believe that's didn't even utilize him. Trips to the left side. Pfeiffer over the middle. Caught by Heckethorn at the 40. And then three Red Dragons wrap him up. Behind you deep. On See? second down. A throw to the... F- to the far side, caught at the 45, and he, the receiver is wrapped up. Yep, it'll be a first down. They'll move the chains. Good second, but you got to keep keep the receivers in front of you. Keep them in Pfeiffer front of you. Throw, overthrowing the receiver on the near side. That's Frazier. That'll stop the clock. Okay. One set. Pfeiffer in trouble. He's got open field in front of him to the 40, to the 35, and he'll slide for the first down. He got tackled viciously on that, but he got all up okay. That was a heck of a hit. Biggie here. Second and ten. And you're right. They don't have to go for it all. Here's a throw. It's caught at the 20. That definitely puts him in the field goal range as Frazier is down at the 20. Thirty-seven yards for the lead, and perhaps the right to move on. The kick is up. It's a wobbler, but it has the best. No it's no it's good. no good. It's no good. It went wide to the left. Are you kidding me? It's utter chaos. Flag on the field. Flag on the field. Oh, uh, no. It's, it's post. It's post. Post play. I don't know. Holy yep. cow. Yep. I don't believe it. Wow. And there it is. Wow. And that is 